So I wanna show you our special nursery cages I set up. They're much, 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 much smaller than what I usually use, but um, there's a reason for it. So you see I've got this little row of cages. This is actually standard mink farm cages that I set up for uh, rabbits. <clears throat> so I had rabbits in these. What I did was I was having, I was using these as birthing cages for rabbits and I set up with this little thin half inch by half inch wire across the bottom and the sides so the baby rabbits wouldn't fall out. And then I had this hole where I put the nest boxes for the rabbits and such. So I realized that would work perfect for my little mink. Um, one of the problems when you have little baby mink is this normal, this is one inch by one and a half inch wire, baby mink will fall right through that. And so at the farms, um, they have a setup kind of like this. They put, uh, they'll put these false bottoms these plastic false bottoms in the cages so that the babies don't fall out. But then they have to spray the cages out. You see they've got poop accumulating. And so um, I have to spray these out too, uh, twice a day. But the farms, they can't get to them that often because they've got thousands. Hey, stay down. Stay down, sweetheart. Stay down, thank you. Um, but uh, it protects the babies from falling through the bottom. So I, hey, stay down. Don't get in a fight with your neighbor. I set it up kind of a double protection. I've got the wire along the edges so they don't climb out. And then I put this plastic in, not so much because they're gonna fall through because I've got that wire at the bottom as well. Hey, stay down, stay down. I've got this wire on the bottom, but I wanted them to have a little softer place to walk around on, not as harsh as the wire. Hey, stay down, get back here. Okay, so I caught the shishi again, silly mink. But you see, another thing about this setup is the water cups are just right. The water cups are high enough that the little helpless babies aren't gonna call, crawl on them and get drowned, or they're not gonna accidentally poop in their own water. But they're low enough that when the babies are, are ready to drink, they can climb up there easily and get a drink. So the water cups are placed just right. We've got the protective features so they don't fall out. Another thing about this setup is it's in the shadiest part of the yard. See right now, it's the cool of the morning and that's the most sun they're ever gonna get. And that's important because the baby mink are, are pretty um, sensitive to heat. Actually what's more sensitive is the mamas are sensitive to heat. So what happens is the mother mink get uncomfortably warm. So instead of laying with their babies, they lay out on the pen to keep cool and uh, the babies get dehydrated from not getting enough milk. So it's in the shadiest part of the yard, and you saw I have this, uh, this wood is normally up on top. I'm just showing you what it's like underneath. That, that provides protection from the weather, rain, and, and uh, the sun doesn't shine down here anyway, but I guess additional sun protection. Um, and then we got the nest box to set up here. Dashi, she's demonstrating. See, she's laying in their butt nest box. And in these nest boxes, we have special bedding. I didn't want to mess with their nests. Um, but here's a bucket of aspen shavings. You see how it's kind of almost like grass-like? It's long and skinny. It, it holds its shape. You see how it's just kind of floating? Like, it doesn't... Um, just crumbles as easily as normal sawdust or wood shavings would. It holds its shape a little bit. And it's got that real nice texture for uh, for making nest material. See how it kind of clumps together a little bit? And so the, the mama mink can make nice little ne round nest bowls in this stuff. Anyway, so yeah, we've got it set up so that these pens are in the most protected part of the yard. They've got their nice little quiet nest boxes that they can hide in and comfortably have their babies. Any day now we can start having babies. Are you getting ready, Thashishi? Huh? You can have some babies soon, I hope. Yeah, I really hope soon. But um, it could be anytime this week. Might be next week. 
could even be the week after. Like I said, mink, uh, even when you put lights on them, it doesn't guarantee the day they're gonna have babies because of that delayed implantation I explained about in my last video. So there they are with the roof back on, their little privacy and shelter, so they can have their little babies. And then as soon as the babies are big enough that they can't fit through this wire, um, they can kind of climb around and stuff and they're not going to fall through the wire, then I'm going to, I'll leave them in the same cages, but I'm going to put some runs on the cages. Because I don't, I don't like leaving the mamas in these little tight cages, or any mink in these little tight cages, but it's necessary, in my opinion, for the safety of the babies right now when they're little. And as soon as the babies are bigger, we'll put them in bigger cages so that the mamas aren't so crammed and the babies can start exploring a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Fingers crossed we'll have babies in the next few days. We'll have to wait. It might be a couple weeks from now. You never know. Anyway, stay tuned. I'll keep you guys posted.